So typically when we graph the labor leisure trade-off, we'll put hours of leisure on the horizontal axis and the income you could be earning on the vertical axis. You could also look at the horizontal axis as finding your hours of labor, right? Because leisure and labor are going to have a trade-off here. We could do the daily amount, which would be 24 hours. We're going to assume working returns a constant revenue. So if you work for another hour, you get double you more in income, right, your wage. You also get one less hour of leisure. So the maximum income you could earn would be 24 times W dollars. We'll connect these dots and we'll call that our budget line one. You could also call it your leisure income line or something along those uh, terms. We're going to have an indifference curve. We can find the optimal choice by looking at the tangency and this would be this consumer's choice of hours of leisure and how much income they'd like. As we increase the wage, this income leisure budget line is going to get steeper. So here we've got income of W1. If I raised your wage per hour to W2, then you could get 24 W2 and there'd be a new tangency condition. If I raise the wage again, the maximum income could be even higher and you'd have a different indifference curve tangency point. So the optimal choice of le leisure and income is going to change as the wage changes. Here we're going to plot on a different axis. We've got hours of labor, so my working hours, versus the wage. Typically what we see for an individual is first the income effect dominates the substitution effect, meaning a higher wage leads this individual to work more. So at a low wage, we work a particular number of hours. As you raise the wage, this individual will choose to work more hours. Then there comes a point where this individual has enough money, whatever that is to them, and the substitution effect starts to dominate. And now a higher wage is actually going to lead them to work fewer hours. When we trace out these points, we get what is known as the backward bending supply of labor curve.